Hello everyone, this is Eugene Blind and it's my EU4 war history guide. In order to end the storyline of my last uh, guides about France, uh, Burgundian history and the English Civil War, the War of the Roses, today we will speak about the 100 years war. Uh, it was the conflict between France and England in the days between uh, 1337 uh, till 1453. It was not the permanent, permanent war, but it was uh, several wars uh, between these dates. Uh, the reasons there were some reasons on both sides of, of this uh, conflict. The, in 1328 the uh, French king, uh, Carl IV, has died. He was the last uh, king of the Capetian dynasty and the new King Philip VI from the Valois dynasty has uh, taken the French crown. Uh, uh, Edward III, the English king, who was, uh, who was the grandson of the previous fr uh, French ruler, uh, declared his claims on the French uh, crown and so uh, it was uh, al already it was a strong reason to start the war. Also, the new French king was trying to wanted to uh, reconquer the province of Gascony, which was the only uh, English uh, territory on the continent. Also, the war between uh, England and Scotland has started, and the uh, Scottish king David II was an ally of the uh, French crown. That's why in 1337 uh, Edward III, uh, with his forces, uh, intervened into the French territory, captured this uh, part of the North France, uh, part of the Normandy and the Calais fortress. Uh, in, uh, in the battle near Crecy in 1346, he managed to defeat the French army and uh, continued his uh, conquest uh, in the nearest uh, territory. Uh, uh, but soon in 1446 the Black Death uh, came into Europe and all the uh, war campaigns were stopped till 1351. Uh, in 1356, uh, the son of Edward III, uh, also the Edward, uh, the Black Prince, he was known, uh, with his forces uh, captured uh, all the fortresses in uh, Gascony and uh, in the nearest territories and in the battle near the Poitiers uh, in the same year defeated the French army. Soon after that, uh, the two rebellions in Paris and the rebellion known as the Jacqueria uh, in the North France happened. In this situation, uh, French forces was, were not able to uh, deal with uh, uh, English conquerors and in 1360 the peace was signed. The results of this uh, peace deal were the, uh, the following. All the West uh, France, something like this, uh, was taken by the English crown. Uh, also, bef uh, before the peace uh, uh, was signed, the uh, war for the Brittany uh, crown, Brittany Dancy, has started uh, between uh, two noble houses. Uh, uh, each one of them was supported by. English and French crowns. Uh, after, uh, after the peace deal in 1360, part, this part of Britain was also taken by the English forces. Uh, the peace has been lasted till 1369. In 1364, the French king Ion II has died and Carl V has become the new king. 
uh, he wanted to reconquer all the lost territories that's why in 1639 he started the new war uh, at, uh, at this time uh, the son of uh, English king Edward Black Prince was fighting for the Castilian uh, throne uh, together with his uh, with his close relatives uh, that's why uh, this period of, of war was the war between Castile and France on, on one side and Portugal and uh, England on the other side. Uh, this war was not successful for uh, English crown, especially after uh, fir uh, 1377, uh, then uh, the Edward the Black Prince and Edward the Third has died, or had died and uh, new king Richard uh, II uh, taking the English crown uh, during this period the Scottish forces uh, were trying to capture the north part of England uh, all the English territories except the some part of Gascony and the Calais was taken by the French army uh, in this situation, uh, now English uh, crown was not able to continue the war and in 1396 the peace was signed. English lost more of, uh, most of uh, its territories on the continent except the Calais and little part of uh, Gascony. Uh, the new peace has been lasted till uh, 14 uh, 1415. During these uh, days, uh, the English king uh, uh, faced the rebellion in Ireland, in Wales, the war with Scotland, and two rebellions in England. In France, at the same time, uh, the, king, uh, the French king Carl VI had become mad, and to his most powerful vassals, uh, uh, Jacques uh, the Fearless, the Burgundian uh, Duke and uh, Ludovic de Orleans mm, were in conflict uh, during which uh, both of them were killed. Uh, uh, after when the Genrich VI, uh, the fifth, the new English king, had taken the English crown, in, 14, uh, in 1450 the uh, English forces uh, started the new war. They captured uh, north of Fr north of France, uh, most of the Normandy, and in 1490, after the death of the uh, Burgundian duke, were managed to become allies with uh, Burgundian, Burgundian forces. Uh, together, this alliance was managed uh, was able to conquer most of the not most, but all the north of France, and in 19, uh, 1428 began the assault of the Orleans. Uh, from these days, the most famous uh, character of this war, Jeanne d'Arc, has came on the scene. She uh, convinced the new uh, French king, Carl VII, to provide her with uh, forces, he was, uh, she became the general of the uh, whole French army and uh, uh, managed to break the south of Orleans and uh, soon after that defeat uh, of the English forces uh, in the during the battle near the Petit and after that uh, reconquer most of these lands including Reims there the French king was officially Round as Carl VII. Uh, unfortunately, soon in 1450, Jeanne was captured near the Paris by the Burgundian forces, and uh, in 1451, after the Burgundian duke sold her to uh, to England, in 1451 she was executed in London. But. Uh, Nevertheless, uh, the French uh, forces from this moment was uh, uh, 
started to reconquer all the lost territories. In 1455, the Burgundy had broken uh, its lines with England and, and again become an ally of France. Uh, in 1449, all the Normandy was uh, reconquered and in 1453, uh, the last uh, fortress in Gascony, the Bordeaux forces, uh, was captured. Uh, the only uh, territory on the continent uh, uh, of the Calais uh, was still controlling or controlled by the English forces. Uh, so from the 15, uh, 1453 we can speak about the end of the 100 years war. As a result of this war, uh, England lost all her territories except the little fortress of Calais and the nearest territories. Uh, and uh, that defeat, as I already told you, uh, was uh, one of the reasons of the future War of the Roses in England. Uh, but French wa France was not in the much better situation as all of uh, the war was on the French territory, most of the war. Uh, uh, French has lost a lot of human resources, uh, all, uh, a lot of uh, cities and villages were, were in ruins, so it was a really hard situation as well in France. But nevertheless, uh, uh, this war was uh, after this war, the French and English uh, nations uh, have appeared, and uh, from uh, from now on, the, we can speak about the end of the medieval times and the start of the new uh, new time, new age. It can be called in different ways. Well, it, that's. All I want to say about the 100 years war, I hope now you understand why in 1444 the English forces still control the Gascony and the, the Normandy and you should know that until the uh, 1453 playing for France you should uh, uh, recapture all these territories in order to follow the real history. Uh, that's all for now. I hope it was really interesting for you and uh, uh, see you soon in my future guide. Thank you.